Hey everyone, so let's talk briefly about what sort of plans I've got for the year. Now, I did talk about what sort of gear I wanted to purchase, some 7 strings, some more telecasters maybe, an Axe FX2, maybe some more effects, some camera gear, but I've got such bigger plans that don't involve any gear at all, okay, especially for my channel. Now last year we clocked in a little bit over 30 videos, okay, now this year we're going to be doing a lot more than that, maybe three times that amount, maybe four times if we're lucky, but I'm looking at maybe three times that amount, so about 120 videos this year. Already we're off to a great start if you guys follow me, you know how many videos we bring out every week now, we're going great, okay. Now every week of course there's more lessons and every few weeks there's more gear and we're looking at sort of different ways you can use this gear and sort of different techniques, learning new songs lots and lots of videos planned for the year. But aside from that, in terms of my big plans, uh, huge plans, I've never been overseas before, uh, so finally heading away, uh, going up to America um, for a few weeks, maybe even a month and a half, two months, just planning that at the moment. That's gonna be a lot of fun, mainly sticking to the west side, west coast this time, and then um, stretching out next time uh, over to the east coast, okay? But very, very, very excited about that. And now in terms of me uh, as a musician, uh, I'm gonna be bringing out my first EP, which is really exciting. As soon as I've um, sort of spent a little bit more time developing ideas, of course, you guys will be the first to know, and for any updates, there'll be more updates on my uh, Facebook uh, than any, anywhere else, really, and on my Twitter accounts for that stuff. Uh, but other than the EP, working with uh, a band and releasing our first album, again, as soon as we've got more uh, solid foundations of, of songs, we'll sort of start posting some clips and rehearsals, jams, all of that stuff. But the, there's bigger plans even than that. So we've, we're getting up to another competition, which is great, okay, big 5,000 sub. Uh, giveaway, so that's coming up as well. Then after that, there's going to be a lot more competitions, and we're planning each time bigger and bigger. Okay. Now, for those of you who have just sort of signed on uh, within the last year, the first big competition I did was working with Dear Dario and Planet Waves. Okay, or Dear Dario. <laughs> you know, I always get confused and always forget the pronunciation. You guys leave a message below and let me know. But the first big competition I did was brilliant. We gave away hundreds of dollars worth of gear and um, the guys there at Diodario and, and Planet Waves that were just fantastic, so friendly and so helpful um, just to me and just to wanting to help me give away all this gear. From memory, uh, the winner was over in Massachusetts, I think, over in the States. And uh, yeah, it was great that we could send away so much gear, but each time we do a competition, and as my channel grows, we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So next competition is coming out very soon, I'd say in the next sort of month and a half, which is really exciting. And then aside from that though, the other competitions are gonna be bigger again, and I don't wanna say too much because I still have to uh, plan them all and of course talk to different companies. But speaking of companies, I'm gonna show you a document here that I've made, okay? Now, you're probably wondering, well, it's all blurred, Pat. Can't really see anything, okay? Well, the reason behind the blurred document is this is a list of companies that I want to work with. And the plan is that in 2015, okay, a whole year away, it seems so far away, but as always, it'll go really quick, uh, is that at the end of... Uh, 2014, start of 2015, I'll show you this list and we'll cross them off. Did we get to work with people or couldn't we work with people? Did we try? Did they say no? Did it work? Did it plan ahead? What happened? So I'll go through all those different companies and we'll talk about it together. So that's really exciting, but I don't want to give away too much just yet. Now, speaking of course of gear, okay, how good is that iRig preamp? It's so good. It's not even meant for cameras, but I'm using it to boost the signal. So if you guys don't know, I've got a Rode video mic, okay? Great quality mic, nothing wrong with it. It's, it's perfect. It's got a built-in nine volt battery, but sometimes, because I do tend to talk far away and sometimes I do tend to talk a little bit quiet, you can't really hear a lot that's going on. So I found that I really need to boost the signal to get it really nice and clean and to have a low noise floor. Now what that means is a low noise floor, you might hear a in the background or you might hear it at about you know 12 15k so it might be a lot higher in pitch okay and it's that noise floor that we don't like so we want a boosted audio signal so it's nice and clean without being too boomy and it's not too crackly and it's not too low so you get a low noise floor you might actually be able to hear my computer now that the mic's boosted it's picking up a lot more than it was before so i'll definitely if you're interested leave comments below and i'll show you how i put that together huge difference okay now of course uh in terms of gear and i will just grab it now 
One of the most exciting things is, ba -ba -ba, we've got a GoPro and I'm so excited. I've wanted a GoPro, it's just the Hero 3. I really didn't feel I needed the Hero 3 Plus for what I'm gonna, uh, you know, for what I'm gonna use it for, but who knows, maybe I'll upgrade in the future, okay? So the, um, the Hero 3, I can't wait. I love action sports. I love uh, skateboarding, snowboarding, skiing, uh, rafting, swimming, all that stuff. So there's gonna be a lot more little short videos and just interesting angles that you can get with this that I can't get with my bulky uh, digital SLR camera. So it's and already I've used it just a little bit and it's so much fun. I love it. I really recommend if you don't have any other video camera, you just want something fun and you want to start capturing footage and you maybe don't want to, you know, be putting your thousand dollar phone or five hundred dollar phone in the water with you. I could not recommend the GoPro. The uh, the only thing is, you know, spend a, have a little bit more money saved up for accessories because getting all different mounts and microphone adapters and all that stuff does add up quite quickly. And you know, even if you just want like a monopod or something to hold it, you know, okay, or a tripod for it to sit it on, all these things do add up, you know, and extra features. But love the GoPro and expect it uh, in my bigger videos to be seeing some um, some GoPro footage but we're still of course working that out. Well that's it guys, a lot of big plans for 2014. Thank you to each and every one of you guys for tuning in for and for viewing my content and for liking me and for liking what I do. I and mean, if you like me and you like you know sort of learning music and, and, and playing along then free videos every week, it sounds pretty damn good, doesn't it, okay? But thank you to each and every one of you, you for, for viewing the content, and not only that, but for leaving comments. If you haven't noticed, I respond to pretty much every comment. I really try to, because I love it. I love hearing the feedback from each and every one of you. So thank you to everybody. Thank you very much. And if you've just sort of tuned on board, 2014 is going to be so much fun. Uh, lots more uh, gear, lots more demos, lots more tuition videos. Uh, maybe there's going to be extra content in a physical form that we can't really talk about and lots more band stuff. And um, for those of you guys that are wanting to join bands or look at f your first bands or even just interested in what bands bands I play in, we're going to be looking at all behind the scenes footage. It's really interesting stuff. I'm going to be trying to use maybe a camera that isn't as obtrusive um, so people forget it's there, okay? Sometimes when you're holding a giant camera in front of someone, they can just sort of freeze like a deer in the headlights and just, you know, stop what the, the cool thing that they were doing or stop what they were talking about. But if you've got these sort of set up a little bit sneaky, um, sometimes you can capture a lot of magic that you wouldn't be able to normally. But otherwise, that's it, guys. Thank you again for following me, and stay tuned. And if you want to follow me personally, hear about all of the stuff that I've talked about in the video, then the best way to do that is to check out my Google Plus or my Facebook. Links in the description below. See you later, guys. Bye.